Good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome to your weekly Coffee in a Card Facebook Live. I'm Zara Premji. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Markham, Ontario, Canada. And I believe that this is episode number 14 of Coffee in a Card. So every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern, I come on here on my business page live and I do some uh, crafting tutorials and we chit chat and just have fun. So I'm going to give people a few minutes to hop on and then we will get started. Good morning, Sonia. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. As you're jumping on, please do say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. And please, if you feel comfortable, share if this is your first time watching because we love to welcome anyone that's here for the first time. So I'll give it a few more seconds and then we will get started. Good morning, Nicole. Do you all have your coffee or tea with you? Um, if you're watching in Eastern time, it's 10 o'clock a.m., but I know sometimes people watch that are in different time zones, so maybe it's evening or too early in the morning for you, but I'm so happy you're here. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to give it a few more seconds and then we'll get started. Hello, Aviva. Good morning and happy Sunday. It's really nice to see all these names popping up. Hello, Denise. Hi, friends. I see all of you popping on. Such a nice surprise. Hello, hello. Oh, goodness. We're going to have some fun today. Hello, Nicole from Ottawa. Coffee in hand. Yes, I'm finding my people. Oh, thank you, Heather. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing. Good morning, Beth. Who else is drinking coffee? And how many have you had? That's another question I'm interested in. Good morning, Heidi. Yes, Denise, you missed me last week, but that's the beauty of Facebook Lives is that the replays live on forever or until I delete them because, you know, sometimes, well, I haven't ever done anything so embarrassing that I felt like I needed to delete a Facebook Live. So <laughs> watch today be the day. Oh my goodness, I might have just jinxed myself. Good morning, Kathleen, Janice, Margaret. Oh, hello, my friends. Good morning, Shams. Still on your first. Okay, so I... um. Did you guys sleep in? Because I, oh, having coffee in Ohio. Hello, Teresa. Um, your second coffee. Yeah, I, I'm a bit of an early riser. I made a commitment to myself um, because I was just feeling like I just couldn't get enough done in my day. And I realized I was far sharper and more productive in the morning. So maybe like a year and a half ago, I made a decision to start trying to wake up super early in the morning. Like, five, five o'clock early, uh, because I wanted at least an hour and a half to two hours before my kids and husband would get up so that I could just get some of my stamping business work done um, and just enjoy the quiet. But this week I'm off for spring break and I was telling myself, I really need to sleep. Like I need to sleep in and just get, be, feel very well rested and all of that. But my, my internal clock has, is, dis, is in disagreement. So it's waking me up every morning at six, 6.30. So haven't really been sleeping in, hence the second coffee. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Barb. Hello, friends. Okay, so let me tell you what we're going to be doing today because um, I, I know some of you kind of want to know, what are we actually playing with? What are we doing? So I'm going to be sharing three projects using the sweet ice cream uh, stamp set and the coordinating punch. I love when a stamp set has a coordinating punch. Um, and I'm going to go really, really simple. So for those of you that are watching that are have never stamped before or are kind of beginners, I'm going to do a card that will literally take you maximum 30 seconds. So I'm going to start with a really simple, then go a little bit more stepped up. And then I'm going to do a card that um, you could do even if you don't have a cut and emboss machine, but I've just used it for literally one element on my card, okay? So we're gonna be doing the ice cream, sweet ice cream bundle. Good morning, Debbie. Green tea for you, Heidi. Okay, well, in the mornings I need the coffee and then um, I do peppermint tea in the afternoon when I, I start to feel a bit jittery because I, I know I've had too much coffee, but um, okay. so. First, I'd like to introduce myself for those of you that are watching for the first time and may not know me. I'm Zara Premji, and I've been a demonstrator for eight years. So eight years ago, um, I'm all, sorry, before I go there, I'm a busy mom of three. I have three kids, 15, 12, and seven. Um, and I work also as an occupational therapist with students with special needs. So it's a bit of a busy life or a very busy life. Um, 
And eight years ago, I got invited to a stamping workshop, which at that time, I had no idea what it was. Um, I mean, you could have invited me to really like, I don't know, anything. <laughs> and I just wanted a break. I just wanted to have an evening out with some friends socializing. Um, so I went in not expecting to actually like what I was about to do. I knew no nothing about it. Um, but the moment I made my first card, I was completely hooked. I loved that it was a quick and easy hobby that I could fit into my busy life, that I could have success with, and that I could create things to send to people to bring them joy. And then I decided, of course, that I needed to have all the things. So I bought the starter kit. And um, I, what I realized really quickly is that I love sharing stamping with others. So I've done... Um, for years, I've done lots of in-person events and classes where I design projects and then I cr prepare packets for people to create the project. Um, and then, of course, this pandemic happened. So I had to shift how I did things. And what I um, started doing was Facebook Lives and very quickly realized that um, it still allows me to connect with others, to share my love of crafting, to build community. So um, I've gotten to know so many people through Facebook Lives and made some amazing friends. Um, and so it really has become a passion of mine to just share joy through crafting. Um, and right now we really, really need to find joy wherever we can, don't we? So that's why I'm here. And I just love to share my creativity here. And I love to get to know you all and to chit chat. And I love to see friends who are connecting with each other on here too. So there's kind of a cool little community growth thing happening here. I'm just going to pause for a moment and read some comments. Teresa, you have a son who has autism. Uh, you loved his occupational therapist and thank you for what we do. I work with a lot of students that have autism spectrum disorder and, um, incredible. It's an incredible, it's been an incredible journey of learning for me. And, uh, we really, um, feel a lot of fulfillment from supporting these students in the school system. Good morning, Cheryl. Um, yes, the ice cream bundle is awesome. Good morning, Carol. Hello, friends. Oh, it's so nice. Nice to see you all. And yes, Denise is saying me time is so important for us. Um, and Facebook Lives is also a way of doing this. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So before we kind of dive into um, everything, just want to say a couple of things. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm super grateful to you all. Um, and, and really, uh, well, as much as I love providing um, inspiration and possibly some entertainment for you, you guys inspire me too. And I just, um, it just feels there's a void that's filled when I do these Facebook lives. So I really feel um, grateful for the connection. So thank you for being here and watching. And if you have some friends or family that you think might enjoy this, you can tag them below or share the video with them um, and just spread the joy and love and inspiration around. So thank you to those who have shared and for those that will share, I appreciate you. So as I mentioned, we are going to be doing the ice cream sweet ice cream bundle. And um, the reason I chose ice cream is, well, I love ice cream all the time, but I find in particular right now with where we're at um, and the state of things, especially in our province, um, I am clinging tight to things that bring me joy. I've talked about coffee. I've talked about crafting. Um, and ice cream is one of those things that I just I just feel joy. So um, for the benefit of me and for you and for this community, I would love to hear um, or read what is bringing you joy right now. So I know that many of us are struggling right now. Um, we just got told that we're going into our third stay at home order. It, we just found out that it's going to be extended by two weeks. So uh, right now in Ontario, we are going to be under a stay at home order until May 20th, I believe. Um, and there are further restrictions that have been implemented. And that's been hard for many people. I mean, it's been a hard, obviously, year and a bit for everybody. But, um, you know, to just know that we're kind of going back into this uh, zone again, is it's a little frightening and um upsetting. So having said that, I think that, you know, we need to just really find what what we can cling to that brings us joy. And so if you are finding things in your life, and they don't have to be big things for me, uh, the heated floors in my bathroom are literally bringing me joy. So this was a huge splurge for us. Um, and something that my husband and I didn't completely agree on. But I can tell you when I walk onto those floors and feel warmth under my feet, it brings me joy. So comment below and tell me what it is that is bringing you joy right now. It can be little, it can be big. Um, and then everyone can kind of see and have some ideas of things that that might bring them joy. 
Shams crafting is bringing you a lot of joy. It's your escape from everything that's going on and you get to bring joy to others by sending cards. Yes, I hear you. I feel you. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera down and then we are going to get started. But please keep commenting because I'm going to be checking comments on my computer, which, oops, I did not mute that. Okay, let me flip this down and then we'll get started. I see Debbie has said her grandchildren. Debbie, that is amazing. I know my mom is really missing um, seeing my kids. So she hasn't, um, We, have, I mean, we see each other on Zoom and stuff, but I know that she's definitely missing seeing the kids. And I know how precious grandchildren are to those that have them. Making cards for family and friends brings you joy, Nicole. Yes, I, I certainly can appreciate that. Crafting brings you joy, Janice, and creating and sending cards. Uh, Denise, your grandkids, and doing Zoom classes. Oh, yes. So many little things. Um, for me, like I said, ice cream brings me joy. My favorite flavor is um, from the Kawartha Dairies. It's Black Raspberry Thunder, and that's like my favorite. And everybody knows that if it comes into the house, nobody is allowed to touch it because it's it belongs to Mama. Um, all right, so keep chatting, keep the conversation going, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what we are going to be playing with today. So in our January to June mini catalog, we have a two-page spread on pages 48 and 49 that shows you this ice cream corner suite. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. Um, so the Ice Cream Corner Suite has a collection of products that all coordinate together that allow you to make super cute cards, uh, treat packages, scrapbook pages if you're into memory keeping then you definitely have lots of different possibilities here and i'll show you some of the items that are included in it so we first have a bundle it's the stamp set is called sweet ice cream and it coordinates with the ice cream cone builder punch okay so this is the bundle that you see here so we've got a photopolymer stamp set it's got 18 stamps in it and then it has a coordinating punch, which I'm going to show you how you can use it today. This punch is super versatile. So not only will it punch out the ice cream, uh, the actual ice cream scoop, as well as the cone, but you can actually use this punch for a number of other uh, little punch art activities. So this is a really fun punch to have. So currently this bundle is selling at 10% off if you buy both together for $42.25, okay? So the bundle price is $42.25. After May 3rd, this will, they, these items will still be returning in our next catalog, but they will be sold separately and the bundle pricing will be gone. So you will not be able to save the, I think it's $4.75 that you save. Um, so you will not be able to save that if you want to purchase it after May 3rd, okay? So the bundle is awesome. And then there is also this incredible designer series paper. It's a 12 by 12 paper. And there are two each of six different sheets. And I'm going to show them to you. I just opened a brand new pack today because I've really cut down my other one. So I'll show you the front and back. So we've got this one here that has all these fun ice cream scoops on here and just some fun little um, almost like a paint splatter effect. And then we've got the back here, which if you actually punch this out with your with your builder punch, you can actually just have a, a cone that's ready to go. It looks like a waffle, a sugar cone, I guess. And then we've got this one here that has these watercolor splashes. And on the back, we've got this fun Blackberry Bliss um, and like a light purple diagonal stripe. So that's a really fun and very versatile, right? So it doesn't have an ice cream theme to it. Um, and you can use it for all sorts of occasions. Then we've got these fun popsicles, which my kids are obsessed with. They love popsicles. And um, even in the dead of winter, we're still buying popsicles in our house. And my kids still enjoy them, even though it's freezing outside. On the back of this, we've got this really fun, uh, colorful striped pattern, which again is really versatile and you can use it for any age, any occasion. Um, and then we've got again, this watercolor splash with these fun polka dots. We'll be using this pattern today. And then we've got another one of these with the watercolor and we'll also be using that one today. And on the back, it's just got this fun scallop stripe pattern, which is just I love the versatility of this paper. So while, oh, hold on, I forgot one more. Then we've got some soft serve cones here. And then on the back, we've got sprinkles everywhere, okay? So really good, fun, versatile patterns. And um, certainly if you're not wanting to make 
ice cream themed cards, you certainly have lots of possibilities there. Um, I want to quickly just mention here, we have a new catalog that's coming out. This goes live May 4th. I'm not able to show you anything inside the catalog at this time. However, if you don't already have a demonstrator or are not a demonstrator yourself and you would like one of these sent to you, please get in touch with me. You can comment below or send me a private message and I will make sure we get one of these to you. All right, I'm just going to read some of the comments here. Uh, craft, yes, thankful for crafts this year. It's been your joy. Your friends say they look forward to getting their, their cards once or twice a month. Margaret, that's so amazing that you're sending them so often. Aviva, yes, you love this DSP. Oh, me too. Okay, sunshine and my first cup of coffee before your shift at the post office. God bless you, Meredith, because I, I really think about these postal worker, postal office uh, workers every time I go in to mail something and just really appreciate all that you do. Making people happy brings you joy, Heather. Sharing your love of crafting. Oh, I love this. Espresso coffee ice cream. Yes. Anything coffee and ice cream together has got to be amazing. Okay. More time to work on family history. Wow. Is that a project, Teresa? Are you doing like a, um, a family tree project? That sounds really interesting. Making cards with this today. Okay, awesome. So hopefully we will give you some inspiration, Carol, for your projects. I forgot to show you some other products that are in the suite. So we've got this awesome striped Blackberry Bliss ribbon. It's beautiful, it's soft, and it's really easy to tie bows with. So that's kind of my measure of what a good ribbon is, is if I could tie bows with it. <laughs> it it's good. Okay, so this one is really easy to tie bows with. So it's not too stiff, but it's not too flimsy either. And I like the width of that. So that's the Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. And then we've got the ice cream sprinkles, okay? Ice cream corner sprinkles. And this, I think it has a quantity on it. Let's see, 1,500 pieces. I'm scared to open this, but when you open this up, you'll see that there are all sorts of fun different colors. So you can actually glue these right onto your cards or you can make shaker cards with them. The possibility, possibilities are endless, but these are also retiring at the end of this catalog period. So I'm saying May 3rd, but actually I think that the January to June mini goes till June. So I'm sorry, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> okay, so let me show you some samples with these cards and then I'll show you what we're going to be making, okay? Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second. Worked on family history. Oh, wow, that's so neat. My family did a, uh, it, it's definitely not as long a project as yours has been, but recently they did a family tree project and we did a huge family Zoom call and um, each kind of segment of the family did their own little uh, presentation on the history. So it was really cool. Okay, all right, so let me show you some different cards with this suite, okay, because I there, like, I really want to show you the versatility and the different possibilities with this suite. So this is one here that we had done at my stamp camp in January. So these are a couple of the cards from there. Actually, these are three of the cards. So you can see, again, just with a simple layout, you can use the ice cream cones. There's really fun um, sentiments in there. This one here, the paper does most of the heavy lifting. And again, just a really fun birthday card that you could give to anybody. Um, this one has a really fun layout where I just cut the top layer in um, on a diagonal and then just put some designer series paper behind, just a little kind of peekaboo card. Um, and then these next two cards I wanted to show you where I'm not, I didn't use the punch at all. So I didn't do any ice cream punches or anything like that. Just use the sentiment and the watercolor background paper just to create a simple thank you card. So you can see you don't have to do everything ice cream and popsicle themed. Again, this one here is not using the punch, but it just used a piece of the popsicle paper and a piece of um, embossed cardstock at the back. This one here, I just cut out um, because the punch obviously won't do the popsicles. I just fussy cut the popsicle here and popped it up and then just did a fun little background with the stitched with whimsy dies. And then you can see here, um, this is one that I had gotten in a swap. And you can see here, again, the paper is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but you just cut out a popsicle and an ice cream cone and you've got a really cute, fun card. Uh, this one here is also another swap card for my friend Lindsay in Edmonton. And um, she did this fun ice cream scoop, like a triple scoop of ice cream, and then pulled in some hearts and just created this really fun background. Um, these, these next ones are all swap cards. So this one here, again, you can see the paper and the ice cream scoops are actually punched out from the watercolor pattern papers that I had shown you. Uh, 
And then this is a fun fold card where you've got the ice cream in the center and then you've got two panels here on the sides with the ice cream designer series paper. Um, so again, just really fun possibilities. Here's a really um, simple but pretty layout of using the designer series paper and the ribbon you can see here. And then we've got this one here. You can see some of the ice cream corner sprinkles on here and a few different layers. So that's really fun. And then we've got this last one here. And this is a fun thank you card with some embossing and some punching. And this is a really fun die cut label from our potted succulents bundle. So that's just, I think there might be, I don't know, 12 or 13 samples in here to just show you all of the fun things that you can do with this um, ice cream bundle. But now we're going to get stamping. So I'm going to show you first because you know I like to start off with note cards. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to stamp a simple note card. So if all you have is the stamp set, some ink, um, and note cards, you can create a really simple and fun card. So let me grab my... Let's see, I'm gonna use three ink colors here. So I'm gonna use my Highland Heather, the cinnamon ciders for the popsicle stick, and then I'm using the black ink for the sentiment, okay? So all you need here is a little note card and an envelope, and we're gonna create a really simple card. So they, there are two stamps that you can use to make the popsicle. So this just gives it a little, You this gives you the option to change colors if you want. So if you had, um, you know, different colors you wanted to use and do like a multicolored popsicles, like, you know, those, those space jet popsicles, I think they're like blue, white, and red. Those ones, um, you can kind of mix up the colors. So let me just see, I haven't scored this very well. So I'll just show you how quickly this one is to make. We'll start with our sentiment because I want to know that I have the room for my popsicle. So let me just grab my Thank you, Stamp. What did I do with it? Um, okay, hold the phone. My thank you greeting is hide. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to start with my greeting just so that I know where to position my popsicle. So I'm just going to ink this up. The rocket ones, that's what they're called. <laughs> I don't know what I call them, space jet. Um, so are you any ice cream fans out there? Do you guys love ice cream? And what flavors do you like? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna show you with this one. I'm gonna actually stamp this off so I have a little bit of a variation in color. So I'm just gonna take some of that ink off here and then stamp it onto my card there. And then I'm going to take the bottom part and I'm gonna stamp this in full strength. Okay, so hopefully I can match this up. Okay, so you've got like a two-toned ice cream cone there. So we can close up the Highland Heather. You can do this with any color, so you don't have to do it in purple, obviously. And then we've got the little popsicle stick. So I'm actually just going to stick. There's two stamps for this, but you could just do it with the one. And I'm just going to ink this up and just stamp that down. So you can leave it like that. And then you could throw on some rhinestones and you'd have a really cute card. Let me just grab my take your pick tool. <laughs> Ice cream is a food group, right? What's your favorite flavor, Denise? What do you guys love? I'm interested in knowing. <laughs> okay, let me do, I'm just gonna sprinkle on some little rhinestones here. You guys know I love quick and simple, so. This card would take no time at all. If you want to do kind of the wood grain of your popsicle stick, you just ink up the second stamp and you can just stamp it on there so it looks like you've got a realistic popsicle stick. So that's how simple it is to make a card with just the stamp set, a couple of ink pads and a package of note cards and envelopes, okay? So let me tidy this up and get the next card ready and then um, we'll move on to one that's just a little bit more stepped up. Anything Kawartha Dairy, Black Cherry. Yes, Kawartha Dairy ice cream is amazing. I was introduced to that actually, I think only two years ago. Um, I went up to a friend's cottage and we stopped there and she she's the one that told me to try out this um, Black Raspberry Thunder and I've been hooked ever since. I'm normally a chocolate girl or a mint chocolate chip girl, um, but this one was 
mind blowing. Okay. So the next card we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the punch to create this banner that you can put on your card. So if you want to do a birthday card um, and if you want to do ice cream scoops, you totally can. But if you wanted to just create a fun background with the banner, then this would be a good way to do it. So what I've done here is I've taken a card base. Thank you. Thanks, Aviva. So this one, I've just taken a soft seafoam card base. And I've already cut a piece of my designer series paper. So I wanted to use the polka dotted one and just pulled the, um, the light green from there. This is the flip side of it, okay? So you can do either or. So let me just actually stick this down because I don't need to do much to this one. All right, so let's see if my adhesive would like to cooperate. Okay, come on. There we go. So for those that have stamp and seal and struggle with this, because I have heard from people um, that they have a bit of a hard time using it, it really is about the angle, okay? So it's the way that you, um, the angle at which you're holding it, because what happens is when you advance the tape, it usually sits kind of right here, okay? It should sit right at the tip. And then when you hold it like this, um, if you pull, pull it away, sometimes the adhesive stops um, a little bit short so you just need to advance it with your fingertip but I find for me that holding it kind of at more of a 90 degree angle to the table makes it a little bit easier for me okay so let's do some stamping and punching I'm going to show you this card using four different colors now I will say here that you can do your banner all one color you guys know that I have all the things in my craft room so I figure if I have it I might as well use it let me show you a little something. When you are going to punch out any of the shapes that you're cutting, you're gonna feed your cardstock in through the top, okay? So this just gives you a little bit of a sense of what angle to stamp the uh, cone at, okay? So because I wanna just make it easy when I put it in, I'm going to stamp my cone in a similar angle, okay? So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp like so. And then I'm going to remove all the ink and then we'll go into the next, the next color, which is Pear Pizzazz. Good morning, Carol Ann. Yes, the Village Ice Cream Store. Um, that is like a, around the corner from our house. And we, we, we frequent that place, not during COVID, but during normal times. Um, we love the Village Ice Cream Shop. Okay, let me grab my... Where is my Simply Chamois? I'm trying to look for my stamp cleaner, which, oh, here it is. Okay, so let me just clean this off. I just wanna remove the hair pizzazz ink so that it doesn't get into my pool party. So next I'm going to stamp the pool party. Hopefully I've stamped these far enough apart. I've got another piece of scrap here, which I'm gonna use for the last color, okay? So you can, again, like I said, you can do this all in one color, or you can stamp it in multiple, you can coordinate with whatever piece of designer series paper you're using, so lots of different options. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that on an angle, and then, before I punch these out, I want to do my basic white layer. So I'm gonna stamp my birth, happy birthday in the pear pizzazz. Dairy Queen Georgia mud fudge with a scoop of score. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I missed the top. Espresso flake ice cream or DQ Georgia mud. Oh, you guys know your ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, yep. Yep, ice cream is my fave. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp my greeting here that says happy birthday. And then I want to just do a fun little splatter background just to create some sparkle and just to not have it too um, stark. So I'm using my Wink of Stella here. This is one of my most favorite tools in my craft cave. So I'm just going to squeeze it so that some of the um, uh, 
what do you call it, the liquid comes into the chamber. And then I'm just going to flick it against the tip of my cap, okay? So that's just gonna create this fun background. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you've seen me do this before, I love to do that. And then I'm just going to set that aside so it can dry. And while I do that, I'm going to punch out the ice cream cones, okay? So I'm just finding this now in my in the window here. I'm gonna punch that out. Do the same thing here. And then there's one there. And I'm going to punch out this one here. Okay, so we've got our four four little pennants. We've got four different colors. Okay, I'm going to show you something. So this ice cream, when you look at this uh, punch out here, this looks like an ice cream cone, but there's lots of fun creative things you can do with it. Now, I'm not much of a an artist when it comes to drawing, but if you do a little, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. If you draw a little face on here or, you know, do some more punch art, you've got a fun little bear okay so i've seen people do like winnie the pooh um, and all sorts of fun things so you can there's lots of possibilities with this punch my mind is not always that creative but um there's some really cool things you can do with that okay so we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of the little triangles and that'll give our wink of stella some time to dry so So we're chatting here, if you're just joining, we're chatting here about um, what brings us joy. So two questions. One is what brings you joy? What little things or big things bring you joy? And then what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Because we are talking all things ice cream today. All right. So I am just going to stick this on. I think that the Wink of Stella should be mostly dry. And then I'm just going to put that on an angle. because because I like to. So if any of you have issues with things being crooked, <laughs> look away. Um, and then we're just going to start to stick these on. So I'm just going to start here, maybe a third of the way down. And then I'm going to grab my, I think I want my pool party next. So we'll do that one. And then maybe we'll do the blushing bride. Is that this one here? Which one's Blushing Bride? So we'll do this one. Isn't that fun? I just think this is so fun. And just a different way that you might not have seen to use the, um, the punch. Okay, so you might want to, you know, eyeball that a little bit better and have them. <laughs> oh, that did not work the way I wanted it to. Let me peel some of this off and we'll put another dimensional. So you might want to have a little bit of a curve going. I missed that. I missed that angle on mine. Thank you, Michelle. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so that's a little better, but you know. Um, and then I'm going to use the snail mail twine because you guys know I love twine to create little bows to put on the end. This is totally not the angle I would have wanted, but I think you guys probably get the idea. So I'm just going to tie a couple of little bows with this twine. <laughs> All right, so that's a little better. And then we'll just grab our snips. I have one more card to show you. So this is coffee and three cards, not coffee and a card. I hope that's okay. And of course, if you have to go um, you can always watch the replay. All right. So we've got our bows ready to go. And I'm just going to grab my glue dots. And we will pop these on. Janice, uh, you love many ice cream flavors. You're, oh, Ben and Jerry's The Tonight Show? What it, what is in that? I've never heard of that one. 
pralines and cream. Yep, love that. Butterscotch ripple or mint chocolate chip. Is anybody craving ice cream right now? <laughs> I'm totally craving ice cream. And I think that, <laughs> I think we finished the last of the black raspberry thunder. We've been having problems with our freezer lately. So, um, and I noticed it because I was going for ice cream, going for the ice cream in the freezer. And it was like, it wasn't melted, but it wasn't, it definitely wasn't frozen enough. And so we had to pull the fridge out and then turn it off, turn it back on again. And then we've reduced the temperature in the freezer. So normally it's at zero degrees, but we've had to go down to, on, according to the display, it's minus three now. We're trying to find the sweet spot because at zero, it's not, um, it just it doesn't feel frozen enough. So the ice cream was not as satisfying as it usually is. Okay, so now I'm going to just embellish a little bit. This is essentially the card. It's just like a, a fun way to use that uh, ice cream builder punch. And then you can embellish with some little gems. So I'm going to use the, whoops, I should have used my take your pick tool. Just going to use the opal rounds which you can also color if you want so if you wanted to actually color these if you have the alcohol markers or stamp and blends you could color these in colors that coordinate with your actual card so that is card number two simple right you don't need to use your die cutting you don't need to have or use a die cutting machine this is really just the stamp set the punch and some pretty paper and cardstock okay let me get set up for the third card and have a swig of my coffee and we will move on to the third one. I think I better clean some stamps so that I can have my blocks free. Thank you, Sonia. It's the tonight dough. Oh, extra chunky concoction. Combines chocolate and caramel ice cream with chocolate chip cookie dough peanut. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> Wow. Yes, absolutely. You can case it, Denise. I actually was inspired by um, Michaela Tetheridge. She did something similar in different colors um, on, I think I saw it on Instagram or something. So please do. I think that's the ultimate compliment. And that is why I create the cards and share them with you because I feel like we can all find inspiration in different places. And so please feel free to, to use the samples and and copy them. Okay. Um, in fact, actually, I had somebody send me a picture of a card that they recreated that I had done on a Facebook Live and sent me a picture of their version. And it was more beautiful than mine. And it made my day. So um, if you are creating cards, share them. I would love to see them. Okay. Are you guys ready for card number three? Let's see here. I'm just going to put these back onto the sheet tuck this away and I think I need my sprinkle for this one and I need the little cross cross hatch for the cone and I'm going to use the you melt my heart sentiment okay so let me tell you a little story about this card so I realized this morning as I was looking through um I was on Facebook and I saw that yesterday was hubby appreciation day, husband appreciation day. And I didn't know that until this morning. So I thought, you know what, maybe I will make my husband a card. So um, it's going to be pink because I love pink and therefore he's going to get a pink card. But this is one that I had done at my stamp camp. Okay. So back in January, I did a stamp camp and one of the, um, stamp sets that we used was the ice cream one. So I'm going to be creating this card here. And there are some different pieces that you need for this. But again, you can totally modify this based on what you might have on hand. Okay, so I've got a petal pink card base. And then I've got my piece of designer series paper here, which I will just go ahead and stick down so that I don't lose it. Because you guys know how I roll. Um, and then I'm going to, let's work on our ice cream cone, okay? So I'm going to start by punching out the cone here. So normally I would say stamp before you punch, but because the stamp that's going to add the detail to this is just so, it's so much smaller, it's easier to get to be accurate with it. So let me grab my cinnamon cider ink.
and I'm just going to stamp that and put it aside. Okay. Um, actually, while I have my cinnamon cider open, I'm going to also do my greeting. So I'm going to just stamp on a little piece of uh, a little scrap of crumb cake cardstock, and it's going to say, you melt my heart. I'm going to just pull this a bit closer to me. Okay, there we go. So I just stamped that on there. You can use any color. My cone and my greeting is done. We'll set those aside and then let's work on our ice cream scoops. So again, I'm just going to take my ice cream cone builder punch and I'm just going to punch out, oh my goodness, this almost got stuck on me. All right, so I'm just going to punch two and then we'll do number three, okay? So we've got our three ice cream scoops. And we're going to play around with them a little bit. So we're going to jazz them up a little. So I'm going to use my, um, where is my Blushing Bride ink? Just because I have this out, I'm going to just stamp these sprinkles onto one of the ice cream cones. Ice cream scoops, I should say. Okay, so I don't need to do this to all three because I'm actually going to be covering some of them up. And I'm just going to grab my Wink of Stella and I'm going to add, let's squeeze a little bit of this out. So you just want to make sure that it's not too saturated at the tip, otherwise it'll it'll just kind of throw up glitter all over your, I might have squeezed that a little too hard. So I'm just going to add some sparkle to this. <laughs> you know I'm not doing this the sparkle for my husband. He wouldn't notice it, but I'm doing it for me <laughs> and for you guys for your entertainment. So that's one. And then for the other two, I'm just going to do the bottom here because I'm going to overlap my ice cream scoops. This is going to be a triple scoop of ice cream. I'm just going to pick up some of that. There we go. Okay. So that should be good. And then I'm just going to stick these together. So let's start with the pool party on the bottom and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here and layer this. You can do them a little offset if you'd like and then we'll do this one here. Okay so we've got our ice cream scoops all ready to go. Okay and now I've just taken I mentioned that I had used my um, cut and emboss machine a little bit and really all it was to do was to um, cut out this uh, recta scalloped rectangle die, but you could absolutely just cut out a piece of white cardstock and make a little rectangle and just add that onto your card. And it's really just to create some contrast for where my ice cream scoop is going to go. Let me see here. Oh, thank you, Mindy. Cool and refreshing, thank you. <laughs> Adding ice cream to your grocery store order now, yep. I think I'm going to need to do that. Uh, Cheryl, I hear you. I want to try that ice cream flavor now too. Um, okay. So let me just stick this down. And I'm going to put this a little bit farther down because I want the room for my ice cream scoops. And then I'm going to take three dimensionals and just pop up the ice cream like so. All right. So that's how simple it is. Like just a really fun, quick and easy. I didn't actually stamp the ice cream scoops. I just punched them out. And then we're going to work on our, our greeting. Okay. So I'm just going to cut a little banner onto on this um, little scrap that I've stamped on. Okay. So we've got that. And then you guys know that my signature, my signature move my fave thing to do with my twine is to hide it behind the greeting. So I don't know if I'll ever stop doing that. I really, I don't know why I love it, but it's like a little peekaboo effect. So I'm going to just tie a bow and I'm using the snail mail twine again. So again, I know that this, the ribbon and the suite coordinates really nicely with the paper. 
but for the purposes of my card, I just wanted to have nothing too thick on here. So let me grab my, my glue dots here. Y'all are making me um, crave ice. Well, I'm making me and probably all of you crave ice cream. So I don't know if that's considered essential though, but maybe on our next grocery order, we'll be, we'll be putting that on. We did a huge um, Costco order last night because our kids are going back to online school and um, there's a real difference in what we send to school when they are in school versus what they consume <laughs> when they're learning at home. So it's, um, we had to like double up on our groceries because well, it's the same for us too. When we're working at home, we're all, you know, enjoying the snacks. Okay. I think that should be good. So now I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on here. And we'll stick this down. Okay. Let's see. Is that good? You could, I mean, you can stick it wherever you'd like. And there we go. And then we just need some bling. So where did, where did my opal rounds go? So I'm going to use these ones here again. Probably would be easier with my take your pick tool, but... That's my card. What do you think? Let me bring it back into the into the view. So we've got this one here. We've got this one that's a little bit, um, you know, I mean, they're they're all really simple. I find these to be all very simple cards, but that's my jam. I love quick and easy and simple and coordinated and cute and pink. It captures all of the things that I love. So Margaret, you'd like to make these for your July cards with a gift card. Oh, that's so nice. You know what? Um, actually, I wanted to share with you a little tip, okay? So let me grab my um, ice cream designer series paper. So let me show you something fun. Maybe we'll do it on this card here. Okay, let me grab <clears throat> a piece of this. So I'm taking a piece of my this designer series paper. And I'm just going to grab my trimmer and show you. If you want to convert a card into a gift card holder, just cut a piece of your designer series paper. I think I'm going to go with, let's start with three by four and see how this works. So three by four. Most gift cards, I think, are two by three. So this would give you enough room for that. Okay. So when you take this, if you take your ice cream cone builder punch, and here's just another way that you can use it. Take your designer series paper and go from the, just, just find the top sort of curved part of the ice cream, okay? And then if you just punch that, then you've created a fun little finger notch in your designer series paper, okay? And so then if you want to turn this card into a gift card holder, I mean, there's other ways to do this, obviously, um, then you just take your adhesive you want to make sure not to put adhesive in the middle obviously um, and then you just put some adhesive so i just used a three by four piece and i used my ice cream cone builder punch to make a fun little gift card holder thingamabobber i don't know what the word is and then you can just pop a little gift card i don't i don't think i have one here in my desk I have a business card, so let me just show you. Hopefully it fits. So you can just slide your gift card into the, the piece of designer series paper there. So you could do like a fun fold to create a gift card holder, but I don't know. If you want a quick and easy way to make a gift card holder, just grab your designer series paper. And there is yet another use for this ice cream punch. Okay, so if you didn't already have this, I would suggest you go shopping and get it but while you can save some money. Um, you can order everything that we've used here in my online store, and I will include the link in the description above. If you use this host code and, um, and check out, then I will be sending you a free embellishment and two tutorial bundles and a handmade card if your order is over 50 or more. Okay. And you, if you look for the um, ice cream cone suite, there's actually one code that you can use for all of the products in the suite, which I will also 
include in the description as well. So there's a one suite ordering code um, that looks like that. And you can get all of the things. So including the designer series paper, the ice cream cone sprinkles and the ribbon all for $75.75. And you will get free gifts from me and it's quick and easy and you will have some goodies to play with. Thank you, Gloria. I'm glad you guys like these. I really enjoyed making them. I hope that this brought you joy today. I hope that you guys had fun hanging out. Um, and I hope that you guys are all staying safe and well. And listen, I know that um, I don't know many of you in person, but I'm here. So if you guys need anything um, or are looking for ideas or inspiration or anything at all, just please don't hesitate to reach out. I love you all. And I'm sending lots and lots of big hugs your way. And you guys take care and stay safe. And we will see you back here on Wednesday evening at 830 Eastern. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.